Did you know that 25% of the veterans coming back from war now have PTSD? Did you know that over 10% are committing suicide? There's no excuse for that. In 1969, I was in Vietnam. I was shot three different times. Like my brother over here, I've got a bronze star, silver star, three purple hearts, and a partridge in a pear tree. <laughs> Katie is my service dog. She reminds me to take my pills three times a day. When I have nightmares, which are about every other night, she will come over and wake me from those nightmares and allows me to go back to sleep. She may have to go through this three or four times a night. That's gotten me off four of the drugs that the VA had me on at night, which turned me into a vegetable. I'm a proud Vietnam veteran. I worked for 32 years. I've got a doctorate in computer science from Purdue. I worked at NASA at the Johnson Space Center on the flight trajectory systems for the space shuttle. I did a great job, and then I had a flashback one day. It took me back to Vietnam. Three years later, I was able to remember my name. They said it was like having a stroke. I lost a lot of my memory, most of my ability to be able to comprehend things. This lady here standing in front of you, Pat from Quanza Kennels, saved my life. She's helped so many veterans out of the goodness of her heart. The VA provides nothing to help veterans. We've got veterans organizations around that are helping service, uh, provide service dogs now through the VFWs, the American Legions, the American Disabilities, the, the veterans uh, of foreign wars, the Vietnam Veterans of America, the Military Order, the Purple Heart, and the several other veterans organizations that are local. They're helping raise funds so we can help get a real dog project going for PTSD service dogs in the state of Illinois. I have the very first registered PTSD service dog in the state of Illinois. She's now five years old, and Katie takes care of me every single day. I go nowhere without her. I'm not able to. But with her, I'm able to go out and help veterans, the new veterans that come back. The group, uh, veterans group I'm with is called Vietnam Veterans of America. We've met over 25,000 veterans that have returned from Iraq and Afghanistan in the last four years at the Rockford Airport. And we welcome them home whenever we can. Without people like that, I don't know where we'd be. We can't be all stuffed into mental hospitals. If we're put on the street and the police officers with their canine units, got to watch out for us. That's not fair to them. I've got a brother that's a retired cop in Rockford. He helps me out when I need it. I can call him at 2 or 3 o'clock in the morning. But people don't understand what we're going through. You have to understand the nightmares. I was a tunnel rat in Vietnam. That wasn't the best job, believe me. Pat, thank you so much. We made her an acting sergeant major, by the way. Thank you, Pat. The owner of a Toyota Corolla with the license plate JA963, we need you to move your car. Toyota Corolla with the license plate JA963, we need you to move your car. Well, for four years I was involved in another organization. I fought them, they fought me. I wanted to place service dogs, they didn't. We started our own. We now are involved in another nonprofit. It's called Dogs. It's Dog Opportunity Grants and Support. What happens is that organization has the nonprofit status. You can donate funds to the Dogs organization, 
and they are an umbrella group that helps obtain and maintain service dogs for deserving veterans and others in need of them. We have a woman who's lost her hearing. She, or, yeah, she can't speak, that's what it is. She had a stroke. She now has one of our service dogs. Um, Kate's sister, Lucy, is also going to another veteran as an emotional support dog. Um, we have a golden that's just getting ready. We have another, we have a number of dogs. First comes the education of the people. They help train the dogs, and then the dog is placed for little or no cost to the veteran. And as far as I'm concerned, they've done enough. And from the beginning, that's been my goal. So I thank you all very much for your attention. Um, get involved with something. The veterans really, really need it. If you're looking for a place to volunteer, we have got lots of fun. Thank you all so much, and have a really great afternoon. Thank you.